Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we are going to do a detailed review of the Synology BS212J NAS. This is a NAS by Synology and this NAS can take up to two drives, that's two desktop drives can be fed into this for a total capacity of about 6 terabytes and I have been testing this NAS for about 3 weeks so let's have a look at the same. So this is the Synology DS212J unit. It's enclosed in a white plastic case and on the front we get uh, a few status light. That's the status light, the LAN light, the disc 1 and the disc 2 light. If everything is great, uh, all lights up in green. And we also have a physical power button that I really appreciate. If you just want to shut down the NAS quickly, just hold down this power button for about 5 seconds and we'll shut off the NAS. Or, and also you can switch on the NAS using the same. And on this uh, side we have the Synology logo. Do notice they are vents actually inside this and this helps the unit to be cool because it pulls in air through this and it exits out via the rear fan. We have the same Synology logo on the other side also and it looks really good. And moving towards the back we have one 92mm fan. This is, uh, this is the fan that keeps the unit cool and I'm happy to say that it, this fan is super silent. And we also have a one uh, gigabit ethernet port and we have two USB ports. Uh, you can attach a USB storage device like a portable hard drive or in this case just for the test I've attached a USB thumb drive and you can also attach uh, USB based printers thus uh, you can enable network printing from the same. So this is the physical overview. Uh, we can insert actually two hard drives in this. I have made a detailed video on how to install a hard drive in the Synology unit and configure the same. So you can watch that video for more info regarding the same. I'm actually transferring some data right now to the Synology NAS and it will be donated whenever there is activity with the NAS. It'll, uh, a light like this will blink, the LAN light will blink and the disk at which it's writing or accessing the data will also start blinking. The unit is also, also very silent and the fan on this uh, runs but it is totally silent and if you keep it around 4 or 5 feet away from you, you can hardly hear anything. You actually manage the Synology disk station using this uh, Synology disk station manager software. It's a web based utility and you can manage the entire NAS using the same. I'm going to log in now and once you're logged in you get an interface like this. And the first we look at this control panel where we can set up a lot of things. You can set up multiple users. This is really important. For example, I have uh, set up a couple of usernames. So if you have a couple of users accessing this NAS, you can create username for each of them and they can uh, securely save their files on the NAS. You get a lot of options. You can uh, give privileges to particular users. For example, uh, for this users I have given only read and write permissions to a shared folder and we can also set up quotas thereby restricting the amount of space a particular user can use and we also can give actually application per, uh, preferences for example if you do not want to give the user ftp for permission or access to download station you can do that so the user management is excellent on this nas and the next thing i want to talk about is the multitude of power management options that are provided on this synology nas for example you can set the hibernate options whenever your NAS is not operational it will go into deep sleep and there is this interesting thing known as power schedule using which you can actually set the NAS for example I have set the NAS to shut down automatically at 1.30 in the night and again to wake it up automatically at 10.30 in the morning and this works beautifully. You can actually set up quite a few settings using this control panel. You can set up the DLNA server using this you just check mark this and you can set that up. If you want to enable the iTunes server, you can simply just check mark this and iTunes service will be enabled. And we also have a full featured downloads manager that's known as the download station. And using this, you can actually download torrents or uh, files directly from the web. Even when your PC is switched off, I have made a detailed video regarding this. So you can click on that to check out all the features of this download uh, manager. And it's a full featured download uh, client. Again, we also have the audio station and using this you can uh, listen to music on any computer that's connected to your NAS. So you need not have to replicate all your music from computer to computer to listen to them. I've also again made a detailed video regarding the same and we also have a full featured, what do you say, a photo 
sharing site that's known as photo station using which you can create photo albums and share it on the web i have made a detailed video regarding the same so you click on that for more info you can actually extend the functionality of this nas by using this package option and you can actually install different modules you like and if you just click on this install option it will ask you where to install the package and you just select that and now it's going to install this php my admin that's a mysql server you also get a full featured uh, php server on this so if you are a developer you can use this nas for web development so using this package center actually you can extend the functionality of this nas you can also use this easy internet option to enable uh, your personal cloud so that you can access this nas via internet if you would like another important aspect of a nas is backups and we get robust backup solutions using this nas for example if you're using a uh, apple computer you can set up this nas to use time machine to back it up you just go to this mac file server and just check mark this enable mac file services and just select the drive where you would like the time machine backups to reside i have made a detailed video regarding uh, how to use this nas and set up your backups for windows as well as mac so you can click on that video to get more info regarding the same another important aspect of having a nas is that how fast the files gets transferred from your computer to the nas and from the nas back to the computer because if it doesn't transfer fast your whole experience will be bad and the synology ds212j nas has a gigabit ethernet port so i strongly suggest that you connect this nas to a router that has a gigabit port because if you connect it to 100 mbps port it will be like using a sports car but you're running it on a road which limits you to a speed of 15 miles per hour i'm using a netgear router that's the netgear 3700 router that has a gigabit ethernet port and this is our computer and this is our nas and now what we are going to do is transfer th this 3 gigabit file to the nas and we'll see how fast it transfers and now it's writing to the file and i have this software called istats uh, and it uh, monitors the transfer rates in real time so as you can see uh, we are getting a transfer rate of between 35 mb to 40 mb per second and this is the speed that we are getting while writing to the nas so you can actually say that you can get a write speed of about 36 to 39 mb per second using this nas now what we are going to do is copy back this 3gb file what we had written to the nas back to our computer and by doing this we'll see what is the read speeds that we can get typically from the nas and now i'm going to transfer it back to our computer and we'll go and have a look over here and as you can see i'm getting actually a read speed a very good read speeds of about roughly 60 mb per second to give you an idea how good is this read speed a typical usb 2 hard drive that you can connect directly to a computer will you'll get a transfer speed of about 20 mb per second and here with this nas we are getting about 55 to 60 uh, mb per second so you can say that this nas is is about roughly three times faster than your portable uh, usb hard drive and now we are testing the power efficiency of the synology unit and this denotes how much power this uh, ds212j unit is consuming and now i'm going to transfer a big file to the nas i'm going to write to it and i've just started that it's a 7 gb file and as you can see uh, it consumes approximately about 20 to 21 watts of power when it's actively getting used so you can say that this nas might consume a peak power of about 21 watts when it's active and now the synology unit went into deep sleep mode and that's donated by just this screen led all the other leds will be off and as you can see it's just consuming about 5.4 to 5.5 watts of power in the sleep mode and the good thing is that whenever you are not using the nas most of the time the synology nas will be in the sleep mode so you could say that uh, when you are not actively using a nas it will just consume about 5.5 watts of power as i mentioned earlier i have been using this nas for about three weeks now and during this time i have made this nas as my primary storage so it was being used a lot and I'm happy to say that during this three weeks of testing, I did not face any problems with the NAS. The download manager works like a dream. 
it never failed. Uh, you can automate the downloads and you can, you can shut off your PC and the downloads will be done automatically on the NAS. This Synology NAS also has a full featured DLNA server and an iTunes server. And to test this DLNA uh, capabilities, what I did is I uh, uploaded a couple of videos and pictures on the NAS and I was able to easily stream them wirelessly over uh, my PS3, WDTV, Boxy Box, and even my Android phone. So as a media streaming device, this uh, product excels. Uh, one interesting thing I want to talk about is that, uh, as I said, whenever you do not use this NAS, it goes into a deep sleep mode. And I wanted to test if this NAS wakes up if I try to remotely access a media file. And to test the same, I uh, have WDTV that's on another room and I went to that WDTV at this time uh, this uh, Synology NAS was in deep sleep mode and via this WDTV I selected the NAS and it immediately woke up and I was able to stream the media. This functionality is really important in my opinion because let's say you're living in a three floor house and let's say your NAS is in the basement and your media room etc is on the third floor and if your uh, NAS does not wake up remotely it will be a pain to go down all the three floors and switch on your NAS. So I've tested this wake on LAN uh, multiple times and it never failed. As a NAS also it never gave me a problem. The network drives are always visible on multiple computers. I've tested it. It works beautifully with Windows and even with Macs. So overall as a functional NAS device this works beautifully. So what are my conclusions regarding this Synology DS212J NAS? I test a lot of equipment but this is one of those special units that you just fall in love because whatever the advertised features that it supports they work beautifully without any issues. I would say that you can just set this NAS up and put it up in a corner and you won't even realize this NAS is there but it will continue to do whatever tasks uh, are assigned to it. So, this is how actually I feel the technology should work transparently and in that respect this NAS excels. So if you are in the market for looking for a 2 disc NAS, give this Synology ds 212 j a serious look. This product gets a big thumbs up from me. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech 2 and hopefully I am going to see you in my next video.